Okay, on that note then, let's review the Fleming's Fundamentals of Law bar prep programs. Let's take a look at slide number four. Fleming's offers five different types of bar review courses depending upon what type of student you are and how you best study. The first program is a long-term bar review. The long-term bar review begins about four and a half months before the actual bar examination. Most students will take this course in their last semester of law school as they want to get a head start on preparation for the California bar examination. The February bar examination, the long-term begins the first weekend of October, and the July bar examination, the long-term begins the first weekend of March. It means for approximately four to five weekends, then we have a month off for finals, then it comes back and restarts the program around the middle of May for the July bar and the middle of December for the February bar examination. Again, the long-term bar is for those students who want to start early in preparation for the California bar examination. The short-term bar review is a crammer course, much like my competitors. This is a two and a half month program for the February bar begins in the middle of December and runs through the middle of February. And for the July bar begins the middle of May and runs through the middle of July. Normally in short-term bar review, we cover two subjects a week. We're in long-term bar review, one subject a week. Most students who take our short-term bar review are students who tend to do better under short time periods. I call them crammers. And they will take the course after they graduate, either in December for the February bar or in May for the July bar. That particular class meets on Saturday and Sunday, along with our long-termers, and also on Monday and Tuesday evenings. The third program we have is called the Premier Tutorial Program. The Premier Bar Tutorial allows you to take either a long-term or short-term program, or online program for that matter, and supplement it with 23 hours of personal tutoring. That's one-on-one -on -one tutoring with our instructors for essays, performance, and multiple choice. This allows you to supplement your normal bar review program with personal tutoring. The fourth program we have is the Ultimate Bar Tutorial. This is a guaranteed course limited to seven to 15 students. You cannot work the last two months as you prepare for the bar. So if you're taking the July bar exam, you cannot work the month of May in June, the first two weeks of July. If you're taking the February bar exam, you cannot work the middle of December, beginning of December through the last two weeks of February. Uh, and the reason for that is, is because it's a program we offer our offices here in Orange County. We have one-on-one -on -one tutoring. We have six instructors for that small amount of students. We meet four days a week. Tutoring is included in the program and it is a guaranteed course. We monitor all your homework, all your assignments. If you put in the necessary effort, 90% of the assignments completed, and you don't pass the examination, we give you a full guaranteed repeat course at no extra cost. Finally, number five, we have the online home study bar review. This is our online program, which you can access 24 seven on our Fleming's eLearning site. And that gives you the opportunity to study at your own pace, at your own rate, and allows you to go back and review lectures over and over again. The online program is a very popular program with Fleming's Fundamentals of Law. Now, many students ask me, why do we have five different kinds of bar review courses? Because we have five different kinds of bar candidates. And therefore, we have fashioned these programs specifically for you, depending upon how you study and what's the best way for you to prepare for the California Bar Examination. We also provide extra tutoring. So if you need extra help in a program, let's say you're taking long-term, short-term, or possibly the online program, you need extra help on tutoring. We can do that live in Orange County, or we can tutor you on Skype in specific areas, i.e. performance, multiple choice, or the essays. Next, let's talk about how Fleming's preps for each section of the examination. Now, I talked about earlier the fact that we have essay section, we have a multiple choice section, and performance section. How Fleming's prepares for the essays is as follows. You're gonna be tested on five one-hour examinations. The first thing we're gonna make you do is to, if you're taking the live program, is go through our writing workshop. I've been teaching the writing workshop for over 32 years. I don't take anything for granted. Therefore, we spend an hour and a half on how to analyze an essay, how to issue spot. We spend an hour on teaching you how to outline an examination. Outline is extremely important because on the bar exam, 
on a typical racehorse, that would be a one hour exam with lots of issues. You outline for 15 minutes and write for 45. On a conceptual thinkum, that'd be more like a con law exam, for example, you outline for 20 and write for 40. What's important is after you learn how to issue, spot, and outline, then we spend an hour and a half teach you how to write. As I say, write like a lawyer. We're teaching what we call the fact to element application. We're big uh, advocates of IRAC. We also will teach you the IAC method, which means if you're running out of time, you have to condense your answer to an IAC analysis as opposed to an IRAC analysis. We also spend a lot of time breaking down crossover areas. One of my concerns is with the examiners going to a two essay followed by performance in the afternoon, that the examiners might increase the amount of crossovers. For example, many times you'll have a torts contracts remedy crossover or maybe a crim law, crim pro, Evans crossover, or a wills, trust, community property crossover, or professional responsibility crossover, for example, in corporations, agency, and partnership. We have to teach you how to handle crossovers on the bar exam. This is something that's neglected in law school, and if you're not prepared for it in the bar exam, can throw you for a curve. We spend a lot of time teaching you how to prepare for crossover examinations. On that note, then, let's take a look at slide number five, the breakdown of the essays. We break that down into IRAC. As you can see, first of all, issue spotting. Issue spotting is critical to passing the examination. We provide you what we call outer and inner checklists, which allow you to go into any examination and be able to spot the issues, not only the obvious issues, that's the outer checklist, like let's say, for example, a murder or negligence, but also the inner checklist. For example, violation of statute, a special duty issue on a negligence uh, analysis, or maybe in you're doing a murder analysis, maybe they hide a voluntary manslaughter, or maybe they hide a self-defense claim. We give you both outer inner checklists, which you must memorize and use on the examination. The more issues you spot on the essay, the better you're going to do in terms of passing that examination. Rule statements, we give you solid rule statements you can use on the essay. And what rule statements do, they provide the structure for the examination. Many times the examiner will test on rule splits, majority minority rule, for example, common law, modern law rule. Not unusual, and if they do and you pick that up in your rules, you'll get more point value on the exam. Also, the examiners like to test on the exceptions. For example, hearsay. We give you a general rule on hearsay and 21 exceptions to the hearsay rule or in criminal procedure. We give you the general rule you need a search warrant, and we give you 11 or 12 exceptions of search warrant. The examiners love to test rule splits, and they love to test exceptions. We hit that. We nail that home to get you better, more point value on the examination. Now, the A in IRAC stands for application. Most of my competitors will call that analysis. I don't find that to be correct. Analysis in Greek means to break apart. When you're breaking apart fact patterns, you're spotting issues. That's what analysis means. Application means you're applying the facts to the rule of law. Watch this. We marry the facts and the rule together. It's that fact element application get you high point value on the examination. And that's what we teach. We also teach you approaches. Now students will ask me, what's the difference between an approach and a checklist? A checklist spots the issue, an approach is how to write the issue. So for example, in criminal law, we give you an approach how to write a murder question. <clears throat> or if you're doing constitutional law, we'll give you a approach on how to write the First Amendment. Approaches are critical because they allow you to plug in the facts, write it in a nice, concise fashion, for the examiners. And finally, we give you a conclusion. We make sure that you answer the call to the question. We run every call on the bar exam essays through SPOIL. <clears throat> that stands for, for uh, subject matter, parties, organization, issues, and law. That's how we prepare you for the essays for the California bar examination. Also keep in mind, we give you over 250 practice exams along with model answers, which provide templates teach you how to write on the examination. We don't take anything for granted. We make sure that you understand the IRAC method, issue, rule, application, conclusion. We make you practice multiple examinations, and we make you run every exam through SPOIL so you make sure you don't make mistakes on the exam. We also give you full critiques on your work, that is simulated bar examinations. If you're in the live course, you'll be taking simulated exams on a weekly basis. If you're in the home study course, exactly the same thing. We make you write three exams under time pressure and you submit them for critique. We'll critique your work with either CD or by Dropbox. So you'll get feedback either way and you let us know which way you want your feedback and that's how you'll get your feedback on your examinations. 
All of my readers have passed the California bar. They're all attorneys licensed in California. All have gone through the Fleming's programs. They know what we teach. They know what we're looking for. And you're going to find very, very detailed critiques of your work when you submit your exams for feedback. Last but not least, after you write the assigned examination, so for example, in long term, you'll be writing in excess of 50 essays. In short term, 45 essays. If you're glutton for punishment, we'll give you unlimited grading, which means if you want more writing, we'll assign more exams for you. The more you want, the more we'll provide, and our goal is to have you successfully pass the essays on the California Bar Examination. Now, the next section of the Bar Examination is performance. Again, as I talked about earlier, we no longer have two three-hour performances. We have one 90-minute performance, which will be administered in the afternoon of day number one. One of our concerns is that you have to adjust flowing out of the essay in the afternoon to performance. Now keep in mind also that's not easy to do because when you're writing an essay, you're in essay mode. And the way that you write an essay is not the way you write performance. Professor Snydmiller, who's going to be your performance instructor, will be teaching you how to do performance live or online, is going to explain the difference between the IRAC method for the essays and what we call the IREC method for the performance examination. She has the most experience on the market. In fact, she passed the bar exam in 1981. Performance became part of the bar exam in 1983. As a result, she knows how to teach performance. We'll be giving you between 13 and 15 practice files. That's 90 minute performance files for the new examination, along with comprehensive model answers for those examinations. We've licensed those questions from the National Conference of Bar Examiners. 25 to 27 states in the country use the uniform bar examination, administered by the National Council of Bar Examiners. They all use 90-minute performance files. We have licensed those questions. We have written model answers for all of those files. We feel that we're prepared to teach you how to pass performance on the California bar examination. On that note, then, let's take a look at slide number six, breakdown of performance. That is the Fleming's method on how to handle the performance examination. Now you'll notice at the top we have lawyering skills. The examiners are testing lawyering skills. They're not testing the same skills they test on the essays. Essay testing is issue spotting, application, and fact analysis, and staying within the call of the question. Performance is quite different. They're going to ask you to provide a certain task. That is why we use what we call the TAP system. The TAP system is following directions and organizing the outline following TAP. What's TAP stand for? Task, audience, and purpose. We'll teach you how to handle a performance exam, which is different, again, testing different skills than the essays. We'll teach you how to tap the calls of the setup stage and review stages, and how to IREC your cases, much different than IRAC. What's IREC stand for? Issue, rule, explanation, application, conclusion. And obviously, time application or time allocation is critical now. Why? We're transitioning out of a three hour exam to a 90 minute exam. And again, keep in mind, you're going from two essays in the afternoon followed by a 90 minute performance. You can't take them out of order. The examiners have said that. So if you overwrite the exam in the afternoon, let's say you go over 10, 15 minutes, instead of having 90 minutes, you've lost 10, 15 minutes on performance, which is critical to successfully passing a performance examination. We have to teach you how to handle performance followed by essays. So one thing we're going to do in our program is to make you write a couple essays followed by 90 minute performance so you get in the habit of testing for three and a half hours on the new examination. Again, keep in mind that you will submit your exams if you're online or in the live program. We'll either give you CD or Dropbox feedback. All of our attorney staff has passed the California bar examination and again, if you want more performance beyond the 13 to 15 we assign, we'll allow a limited grading once the assigned exams are completed. Notice again then that the performance for the new examination only counts one performance, but it counts two essays. It's worth 200 points on the exam. The next section of the bar examination, of course, is the MBE. Now, the MBE has not really changed. The MBE is given on the second day of the current examination, and that's exactly the way it's going to be tested from July on. You'll have 100 multiple choice in the morning, the AM session, 100 multiple choice in the afternoon session. Now, what I've put together for the examination starting in February 17 and forward is I've done brand new introductory MB lectures, 
and new detailed individual black letter law subject lectures designed to hit the major testing areas, emphasizing test strategy and test hints and tactics for the examination. Some of these MB lectures will be somewhere between an hour and a half to three hours. And the reason I'm taking the time to spend more time on multiple choice is because as I pointed out earlier in this presentation, multiple choice are now worth 50% of the examination. And the multiple choice scores across the country are dropping like a rock. That again is one of the reasons why the ABA deans and California deans are challenging the cut rate in California at 144 when other states have a cut rate of 135. With the MB going up to 50%, it is critical that you improve your MBE preparation. On that note then, let's take a look at slide number seven, which is the breakdown of the MBE. How do we recommend you attack an MBE? First of all, you read the call to question first. You drop your eyes through, the, hit the call, sometimes located at the end of the, of the fact pattern, sometimes a separate paragraph. When you read the call, you then proceed from the call to the options. The options are the A, B, C, D. You run your eyes through the middle of the options to pick up keywords, key facts that might better allow you to understand the fact pattern. And the third, what you do is you go to the fact pattern, you read the facts, which we call the root. Now, the reason you want to read the call first is you want to identify the subject matter because all your multiple choice are mixed. You might have question one torts, question two property, question three con law. You want to identify the parties in the call if they're laid out for you. You want to identify any issues in the call that might be designated. And most importantly, you want to identify the law. It might say under uh, common law, under modern law, most jurisdictions, majority rule, etc. By identifying the subject matter, the parties, issues, and law in the call, you'll be a better reader because reading comprehension is critical to your success. You'll know what you're looking for when you drop your eyes through the four options. Then when you go back and read the fact pattern, now you'll be a player. You won't make those mistakes. You won't be distracted. You won't jump on the red herrings. And most importantly, you'll come up with the right answer on the multi-state. Second, multiple choice tests, analytical, and reading comprehension skills. By following our approach to attacking multi-state, you're going to be more analytical. You're going to result in less reading comprehension errors, which is going to increase your ultimate score. You have to know your Blackwater law. Why? Because that's what the multiple choice tests. Remember, every part of the California bar exam tests a different skill. The essays test issue spotting. They test your writing skills, fact application, and time allocation. Performance exam is lawyering skills. Multiple choice tests reading comprehension, analytical skills, black letter law. That means you must know your rules cold, and they love to test the exceptions the rule. Why? Because the examiners know that most students know the general rule, but only half of those know the exception. Only half of those half know the exception, the exception. So where the examiners test many times on the exception to the exception to the general rule. We prepare you for those exceptions on the multi-state. Your time allocation has not changed. It's still 1.8 minute per item. Item means question. It means the same thing as a question. So you allocate 1.8 minute per question. But keep in mind also that the length of the question is not the same. Your tort multi-state, your crime multiple choice, and your Evans multiple choice are much shorter fact patterns than your contract multiple choice, your con law multiple choice, your property multiple choice. And that way it equates out. You might have to spend maybe 40 seconds on a tort multi-state and two and a half minutes on a property multi-state. You'll have to adjust to that in your practice. Work on your timing. Always time yourself. That's very important. So for 33 minutes, one hour, two hours, 66 minutes, three hours, one, uh, uh, 100 questions, or do it in lots of 25, 50, 75, 100. Time yourself in practice so you don't run out of time on the California bar exam. You don't want to move too fast, don't want to move too slow. If you move too fast, you might make reading comprehension errors. Too slow, you may run out of time. So timing yourself under exam conditions is critical to your success. We're going to provide you between 3,000 and 3,500 multiple choice questions under time conditions. We'll provide you with difficult questions, some fair questions. I'll be using many different kinds of books in our preparation. Those from the NCBE, which we license. Also our own books, the Fleming books, and some of our books on the market that we'll be giving you as well. We like to give you a cross-section of multiple choice to kind of give you an idea what would be tested on the California bar examination. Keep in mind that your multiple choice is extremely important. Why? Because now they're worth 50% of the examination. Extremely important to your success. Now the next question you might ask yourself is why should we make Fleming's Fundamental Law your number one bar prep course? 
and I'll give you 11 reasons why I think you need to work with Flemings to pass the California Bar Examination. First of all, I'm going to be your coach. I've been teaching bar prep since 1984. I have reviewed every single bar exam since 1978. I review 200 papers a year that fail the California Bar Examination. Now remember, when you pass a California Bar Exam, you don't get your papers back. And nobody complains about that, by the way. But when you don't pass examination, the examiners return all your papers. I review those papers. I want to see why a paper got a 75, why a paper got a 55. By comparing examinations with high grades and low grades, it gives me a much better idea of what the examiner is looking for. Professor Snydemiller has reviewed every single performance exam since 1984. She does exactly the same thing as I do. We look at examinations that have not passed. We compare high grades and low grades to better understand what the exam is looking for and better understand how to teach you to prepare and pass the examination. All of our graders are experienced and they all have passed the California Bar Examination. All my graders have been students from Plumbing Funnels of Law. They know what we teach. They know what I want them to critique and they're going to give you excellent detailed feedback on your written submission of your exams and performance. As I said before, we provide you with an extensive essay workshop. We don't assume that you know how to analyze, organize, and write. We give you carefully developed subject checklists and approaches to teach you how to issue spot and apply on an essay. The new extensive performance workshop addressing the 90 minute examination. Again, we have more performances, more model answers than any bar review on the market because we're preparing for this new change for the last nine months. Brand new MBE lectures and strategies to master the MBE. Weekly simulated bar examinations. Extensive critiques, feedback of your exams, either through CD or Dropbox. We even have a clinical hypnotherapist who works with our bar students, Mr. Ben Moss. Ben Moss has been working with Flemings for 10 years on teaching students how to handle bar stress, a fantastic psychological adjunct to the Flemings program. Individual attention. You can email our offices. You can call our offices for consultation and again with our on-staff lawyers that we have here in the office. We can provide you with personal tutoring or extra tutoring if you need so. Finally, I provide the most accurate bar predictions on the market. I've been predicting the examination subject topics for the last 30-something years. My predictions are put out one month ahead of time for my students. The last bar examination, which was the July 16 bar examination, I predicted all six out of six exams and the topics tested on those examinations. Now, that doesn't mean that I have a, like a mental, you know, that I can tap in the bar exam, but I've laid out a nice formulated attack on the bar since 1978. I have a chart of every single exam issue that's been tested and subject, and my predictions are laid out for you to give you a advantage on your competition on the examination. We also provide unlimited grading. So as I said before, if you want to have more performances graded, more essays graded, we'll provide more assigned exams for you. But you can only do that once you've done all the pre-assigned exams we've given you before you ask for more unlimited grading. We'll provide you with that if you so desire. And we offer all this at an affordable price. Some of our comp competitors are twice what we offer in terms of price and less in terms of content. We give you a fair price for a fair bar examination, and that is why you should make Fleming's Fundamentals of Law, your number one choice for bar prep. Now, if you take a quick look at slide eight and nine, you'll notice that we have testimonials. Now, we have hundreds and hundreds of testimonials online on the website lawprepare.com. What I provided for you is a diversified group of students. We have Whittier, Oak Brook, Irvine University College of Law, California Southern Law School, California Western, Santa Barbara College of Law, William Howard Taft University, Loyola Law School, Humphreys College in Stockton, California, Trinity Law School, Empire College of Law in Santa Rosa, California Southern Law School, Thomas Jefferson School of Law, Pepperdine University School of Law, and Law Office Management. Students don't even go to law school. Now the reason I provide you with these testimonials is to let you know that we deal with all kinds of law students, from ABA to state accredited to unaccredited to online to correspondence students and even students who never attend law school, they do it through law office management. Our programs work across the board for all law students preparing for the California Bar Examination. So why don't you take a look at those testimonials. They're, they're detailed. We have the students send those into us. We didn't ask them to write them, 
but I think they give you a nice overall view of what we offer to our program, for our students and our program. Keep in mind also, we have hundreds of testimonials online that you can review on your own. If you need to contact Fleming's Fundamentals of Law regarding our bar prep program, you can email us at web email, that would be uh, info, I-N-F-O, at ffol.com. Again, that's info, I-N-F-O, at ffol.com. Feel free to visit our uh, website at lawprepare.com. Feel free to call us, California toll free, at 108, excuse me, 1-800-LAW-EXAM. And again, contact us. We'll be glad to call you back immediately and address any questions or concern you may have when registering for the Fleming's Fundamental Program. Now, last but not least, what's important to understand on the bar examination is there are three kinds of bar candidates. Those who make it happen, those who watch it happen, and those who walk out of the bar exam and say, what the heck just happened? Our team of experts looks forward to working with you to make it happen. I hope you enjoyed the bar presentation today. Thank you for taking the time to view today's presentation. I look forward to seeing you in the next Fleming's Bar Prep Program. Thank you so much for your time.